Alright, how y'all doing? I'm Gizzy here again, guys. Doing a little experiment here. What I got here. My mate thermometer. It currently says 205. I'll set it here in the stove. And watch it in the stove. That's the wood stove. It in a second is going to. Well, it's gone up. Hi. Okay. So apparently it only goes up to about 400 and then it shuts off. Oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. I had it in there. Well, why do I have it in there? Because. I'm trying to find out. I have a light way to boil fire. What I got in there is a Reynolds oven bag wrapped in Reynolds heavy duty aluminum foil. And uh, yeah, it says not to exceed 400 degrees. And that's by the bag by itself. And I don't have the bag by itself. I've got it wrapped in aluminum foil. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of hoping aluminum foil might save the plastic bag. But I don't know if that's going to work. But if it does work, it's going to be a really great light thing that you can carry with you to boil water in an emergency situation when you don't want to carry a bunch of extra weight. And it's very compact, and I could probably throw it in my little EDC kit. Because that was something I was lacking today. So I had no way to collect water or to heat and boil water to purify it. So, if this works, we might have ourselves something pretty cool. Now, you only need to get the water up to, what, like 200 and something for it to boil. But the problem is, when you throw something on a fire, you can't really control the temperature. Which is why I've got to figure out a way... That this will survive looks like it's already melting honestly I want to pull it out it's been in there for a good five ten minutes Let's see what we got You see the water is bubbling in there. It's definitely appears to have reached the boiling temperature. Let me put it back in there for a second. Then I'll pull it back out and then I'm gonna measure the temperature. Ooh, that is hot. I guess I ought to use the one that has a glove on it. The one by meaning my hand. Ooh, leaking water. Well, let's test the temperature of the water. Water got up to like 195. It looks like we got ourselves a leak. Let's find out where the leak was. I mean, the temperature inside the oven has got to be 600, 700 degrees in there. I think at 191 degrees, you'd probably pretty much kill everything in that water. But I'm not sure. All right, well, the water is still at like 170 degrees. And it was leaking, but I think it was leaking out of the top. Uh, the rest of this bag is intact. That water is really, really hot.
There's the tea, or the, there's the water. I cannot put my finger in it. I mean, I can put it in it, as you just saw I did, but it's not comfortable. Temperature is at 144 now. And that's after it uh, being taken out, sitting in this cold glass. And it's still at 144. Take a look at the uh, little foil. It got charred a little bit. It's not miscolored on the inside at all. So it could be reused. And it seemed here the top part of my bag, which was sticking out of the aluminum foil, has gotten, you know, discolored and singed. Looks like it was starting to uh, burn. But the rest of the bag looks alright to me. So I think we actually have a, you know, it's not something I'd want to do all the time, but it appears to be a viable solution for a lightweight way to boil and collect water. Um, granted, I might be able to boil it just in this, but you have trouble with this keeping its shape from aluminum foil. And uh, it's pretty easy for aluminum foil to get a hole in it and start leaking water, put out your fire. But in that plastic bag, uh, I don't think I took enough time to actually secure it properly. Could have done a better job of making sure that it wasn't going to leak. I even got a hot enough water to make myself a little hot tea. <laughs> Tastes fine. Good stuff. There you go, guys. Uh, that's something I want to add to my my EDC. Some aluminum foil and uh, some oven bags. I mean, for an emergency, it'll work. It's not the best thing ever, but it's definitely something that you could always have on your person, even in a little small pouch like mine. And uh, you can have it with you if you need it. Like I said, not optimal. Not something you definitely want to have, you know. I'm sure there's a hundred different things that would be better, but uh, it works. All right. We got some uh, nice tea. I might even throw a couple tea bags in my uh, little EDC. They're nice and thin, too. Now you don't have to drink just water and drink some tea. That would be nice, wouldn't it? All right, guys, Iron Magazine, signing off. Something to think about. Um, Reynolds oven bags, aluminum foil. You got yourself a very lightweight, portable way to uh, heat and boil water. All right, anyway, Iron Magazine, signing off. Gonna go enjoy my tea now.